Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the genetic operations, guys. Guys, I request you if you haven't watched the previous lecture, which is all about genetic algorithm flow. In that only, I have discussed these three methods, guys. So in this lecture, I'll be just to going through the definitions which you can write in your examinations. Okay? Yes. So let us start. Okay. Selection. So basically, the primary objective of the selection operation is to emphasize the good solution and eliminate the bad solutions in the population while keep, keeping the population size constant. Okay. So basically, you will be checking all the values. So basically, what value the first one is giving, what value the second one is giving, what value the third one is giving. Okay. So based on these values, which are the best two? You will be selecting them and you will be passing them to the perf perform the next operation that is mating. Okay. So you your goal is to while keeping the pop population as same, right? Yes. That concept is a selection. Similarly, crossover. So if you recall, I taught you with a small trick like these kind of diagrams, right? Yes. So that is nothing but the crossover, guys. So crossover is the process of taking more than one parent chromosome and produce a child offspring. So basically call it as a offspring, guys. Even skip the word using word child, guys, because it will lead to a wrong meaning. Okay. Yes. By recombining the portions of two best solutions using any crossing method. Okay. Similarly, mutation. The mutation operation encourages the genetic diversity among solutions and attempt to prevent very close results. In the last, in last topic, we discussed these three solutions with detailed examples also. So please watch the video guys. If you haven't watched, if you have watched, you are 100% clear with all the definitions guys. I'm sure about it. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea about this, right? So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing some few popular problems which can be solved using our genetic algorithm easily guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching